What's going on everybody? Alex here, Nick and Zon and Landscape. Welcome to Getting Organized, episode number three. In this episode, we're gonna talk about equipment and the importance of being organized with your equipment. So as a lot of you guys know, we have a ton of equipment and it can get overwhelming trying to keep up with everything. Remember what you fixed on what machine and when you change the oil on this machine and when you put new tires on this machine and yada, yada, yada. So what we do is use these silver Sharpies. I think they call it metallic. Most of your main maintenance items you can write on with this thing. So these make it really nice. If you don't own one of these, I suggest grabbing one. They're pretty sweet. And let me just say right now, excuse the mess. We are doing some remodeling inside the house and we just finished a huge retaining wall job. So this place is a disaster. We need to clean it up. But at the same time, that's what the shed was for to be able to do projects in and you're seeing the mess of about 10 projects, plus all of our equipment, so excuse the mess. But push that aside, you can see behind me all the stuff that we maintain. Got our mowers here, and we got all the blowers and the trimmers and other mower in the trailer. Got some more stuff over here, stuff everywhere. This place, like I said, it is a mess, but all this stuff up here is stuff that we just use on our recent job. So take this mower for example. <clears throat> this is a new mower. <clears throat> it's got 56.7 hours on it. But knowing that it's new, anytime I replace anything on this mower, if I can write something on there, I will. So anytime I replace the air filter, I'm gonna write the date on there and the hours that it had whenever I changed it. I'm gonna write it on the oil filter. I'm gonna write it on the fuel filter. I'm gonna write it on everything. And that way, you know, you can even write it on the tires. You can write it on your Velky tires. You can write it on anything. That way, whenever something's done, you know, and if it ever goes out again, or if it's a maintenance item, you know when it needs to be replaced again. So get you one of those markers. And even something like this spreader, I haven't done it on it, but you could go on the bottom side and you could write, you know, if you replace something on it, replace a piece, replace the spinner, whatever you do to this thing, you could make a list of it right under here where nobody's ever gonna see it or right there or something. I mean, there's all kinds of little tricks. And we don't only do it on our small equipment, we do it on the trucks, do it on the skid steer, trailers, and the excavator. It's a great idea to do this on anything that you got machinery related. I just think it's a really good idea to keep track of this stuff and yeah you can keep track of it in other ways or you can remember or you can have a folder for each piece of equipment. There's all kinds of different things you can use but when it comes down to it especially whenever something breaks on a job site you want to know. You need to be able to know the history of it without having to go back home and look in your file or get on the computer or something so find an area, write your stuff down, note your parts whenever you change them out, especially filters, maintenance items, that's huge. You wanna keep your machinery run in tip top shape, that's how you're gonna do it. You gotta keep track of this stuff and you gotta change it when it needs to be changed and there's no better way than being able to look at the filter and say, okay, this is when it needs to be changed. It's that simple. And those markers do not wear off, especially within your time range for your oil changes and your filter changes, there's no way that's gonna wear off. Just make sure it's clean when you write it on there, which it should be, because it should be brand new. So take it out of the box, write it on there, especially your oil filters, quick tip, write it on your oil filter before you put oil in there, because it's kinda hard to write on a filter when it's covered in oil. I have made this mistake, trust me. But all in all, I think this is a good tip, and it's a matter of getting a Sharpie and then just doing it. Whenever you fix something, just write it down. Make a note of it, quick, easy, simple, but it could save you in the long run and it's gonna make things a lot easier when it comes to maintaining your equipment. Thanks for watching guys, I hope this video helped you. Hope you enjoyed the quick tip and I hope you're enjoying the series so far. Be sure to follow along every Saturday will be a new episode. And this being episode three, we've got 22 more. So stay tuned, be sure to check us out on Instagram. Also check us out on Facebook at Nickens Lawn and Landscape. And if you're not a subscriber, hit that subscribe button and you can also hit the little bell and it'll notify you anytime we make a post. I'll see you in the next one.